On November 5th, people all around Massachusetts will be visiting polling sites to cast their votes for presidential candidates. This ballot also contains the question regarding minimum wage and tipping in Massachusetts. Proponents of the ballot measure claim that raising the minimum wage will support workers and create more economic opportunities. Those not in support say small business owners will struggle to pay increased wages. This question will be a deciding factor in the future of workers and the Massachusetts economy. We talked to members of Project Protect Tips, an organization against the ballot, as well as pro-tip pooling workers. I just think that people that work in restaurants and stuff should be uh, paid higher and also like tip because there's like tax that gets like subtracted I guess at the end of every paycheck. It's better if you like walk home with like a little bit of money. You live off your tips. I bought my first car and tips like you you use your tips to pay rent, uh, pay a mortgage on a house. What the committee is against is the verbiage in section six of a piece of legislation that wants to eliminate what the tip credit means now. They want to mandate tip pooling under the discretion of owners and management. It's better than waiting two weeks and then having like a bunch of money like taken for taxes and stuff. We actually just added tipping on card. We didn't have that before. It would be $18,500 uh, roughly a year per employee that these small business owners would have to pay, a lot of businesses will close down. Um, there is the example of in Washington, D.C., where something like this already had passed, and it was over 3,000 employees have been laid off um, because their businesses had closed down that they worked for. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to educate yourself and vote on question five in the upcoming ballot on November 5th.